Hello and welcome. This is the fifth part of the MUI series. I've decided to split this video into parts so you'll get more details about specific subjects. In this episode, I will show you how to create a reusable card and search bar components with a very basic functionality built in to begin with. And that basic functionality will return callbacks that we can refer to later. Within the next two episodes, we will use these callbacks to create fully functioning authentication page. First things first, we will start off with card components. So create basic card folder and the file with the same name. Now use our favorite RAFCE, a shortcut to quickly mock function components. Then we want to go to muy.com forward slash components forward slash cards. Scroll down to the basic card anchor and open up the code example. And let's just copy the card imports and we want to paste it back into our IDE. According to MUI website, cards are surfaces that display content and actions on a single topic. And this is what we are going to use to display our list with users. So as a wrapper, I'm going to use a card and as a child, I will add a card content and inside of it, a string with the same name. We want our card to look like the one from the dashboard UI example. So we're going to add search bar, add user button, refresh icon and the list of users. Um, let's just render that basic card component to see how it looks like. We need to import it to the authentication page and we're not passing any props at this moment. So just a raw render. Import basic cards, then autocomplete fills it up for me. Um, we just need to save and refresh the browser. Cool, it looks ugly, um, but I just wanted to render it for now. The next thing we are going to do is um, we're going to add props. And I would like to split this component into card header and card content sections. So in card header, we can display search button buttons and in the card content, we can add the list of users. I've added header and content to render function. And now I need to make sure these are being passed. So I'm adding them to props list. As mentioned earlier in the header prop, we're going to add search bar, add user and refresh buttons. And starting with a uh, search bar, we are going to need search icon. So we need to go back to the MUI website and look for that search icon. Just type in search and grab the icon import. And in the next step, we need to create another folder, um, which we're going to call search bar and inside of it, searchbar.js. This will contain two parts, the search icon with no clickable events on it. And the second part is the MUI input where we're going to add a callback that grabs the input value. Let's call our old RAFCE friends to mock functional components for us and paste in the search icon import. As I was on the MUI icons page, I've added refresh icon as a placeholder. And finally, we can start working on the second part of the search bar component, which is the actual input. Now go to MUI.com forward slash components forward slash text fields, copy the input line and paste it back into the search bar.js and call it within the render function. We're going to add two props for now. The first one is the placeholder which is basically a static message, what values are expected in the input. And the second one is the on change event, which will listen to changes inside of the input. So just add on change equals to on change, and then make sure we are actually passing these props. Now we can add our search icon to the mix, but as you say, if you'll quickly notice that none of the items are visible, and that's because we have not called them in the basic cards header props. We need to go back to the authentication page and in a basic card, add header equals to search bar and make sure the search bar component is imported. And I'll just use autocomplete to import it for me. Okay, that should do. Just hit save, go back to the browser and the search bar is there. It looks horrible, but we will fix the styles later. It's time to define search bar props. We can copy this string for our placeholder from the sample dashboard, and I will create a get header function to render search bar component so it will look slightly neater. Type in const get header arrow function, and inside of it, we want to call search bar component with placeholder equals to copied text. 
don't mind me changing the function name. After I was spent on thinking about the right name for it, I decided to go back to um, getHeader instead. With the placeholder specified, we need to add another prop. So type in onChange equals to curly braces, then arrow function. Inside of the parentheses, add event. And when returning, add handle change parentheses event dot target dot value. Now we need to define the handle change function. So I create some space underneath the get header and type in const handle change arrow function, pass the value, and then just want to make sure it works. So I just console log the value. Just going to clean it up and provide the return function as the search bar won't get rendered now. On another topic, to make it even neater, we could create a separate authentication card component that has basic card with unique header and content just for the authentication page. But as I wanted to keep it simple and focus on the MUI, I decided to ignore it for now. If we're going to repeat ourselves later in the series, I will definitely come back to it. With the changes saved, our input component is displaying the values correctly. For our header prop, we're only missing add user button, which can be created with the reusable common button, and then the refresh icon, which contains an icon button wrapper, and the actual uh, refresh icon. For the content prop, we would need the typography component with no user's message in it. So here's a little exercise for you. You'd have to add missing elements and style them out using SX props, but this task is not mandatory as I will fast forward the video and walk you through my approach of styling it out. Although if you wish to tackle this task, then I will give you some tips. Right underneath the search bar component, you would need to add common button with add user label, contained variants and large size, then add refresh icon that has an icon button wrapper. Then you'd have to wrap these three elements in MUI box and then you can start playing around with styles. For the content, you would have to define the content inside of the basic card component. So you'd go content equals get content, create get content exactly as we've done it with the get header. And there, inside of the return function, you would add MUI typography component with the no users message. And finally, you could style it out. Okay, so it's time for the fast forward. I will see you soon with the ready version. This is the styled version. It's very similar to the original dashboard. There are some differences, but I'm not that fussy about the styles. So I'll just walk you through the changes. There's a new on-click event in add user button. As in the next episode, we are going to, to link it up with the modal. Um, so in the common button, I've added onClick equals to add user. And inside of return function, I've added MUI box with header styles object that contains JSS. So the wrapper object holds the styles for the box component. And then below we have add user button object that only has font size instance. In the get content, there is a typography component with the align center and SX props with margin, font color, and the font size. I've also added the styles to the grid item. I've increased the excess value to 12 instead of eight and set margin left to 320 pixels as that's the width of the navigation. And then I've added min height to make sure the background color fills up the blank space correctly and set the position to relative. Then in the search bar, I've added width equals to search bar width, and this is being passed on as a prop to the authentication page. Font color and font size has been set as well, and I've added disable underline, um, and I've set it to true, and it turns off the default MUI inputs bottom border. Also, the search bar width is set to 720 pixels width. In a basic card, I've added the SX prop to card, and the styles are mainly used to center the component. There's one more thing that we can do. The grid item can be turned into standalone components, and that way, if we wish to wrap more elements, 
we won't have to style each grid item in every page component. So let's create another folder inside of common, call it grid wrapper, and we want to add a file with the same name. Then just RAFCE and copy the whole grid item along with the import from the authentication page. Now we can make it slightly neater and define the object with the styles. So um, just need to call it um, grid wrapper styles and copy and paste the inside from the SX prop. Okay, once the styles are sorted out, um, let's just import the grid wrapper to the authentication page and add it to the same place as the previous grid item. And there's one more thing missing, um, grid children. So we need to specify um, children inside of the component and pass it as a prop. Without this step, we won't be able to use it as a wrapper component. Add curly braces, type in children and add children as a prop. And this will do the trick. Um, going one step further, we can move out all the styles objects to separate files to keep it slightly neater. And this is what I'm going to do. Uh, I will just roam through the components and see where I have massive style objects and just move them out to save some space and improve readability. Same goes to the authentication page. I'll just cut the header styles out, create styles file inside of the authentication folder and I'm going to add export um, right in front of the const and then I'm going to import it back into the authentication page. And by the way, header styles is a really bad name. We should call it something more like cart header styles as it refers to the cart component. And I just need to make sure all the um, names are replaced with a cart header styles. And same goes for the styles file. And this is working. Great, a week and call it a day. In today's episode, we've created reusable card components, search but with basic functionality, and we've been playing around with styles again. In the next episode, we will create a reusable model component where we will be able to add users by defining user ID, email address, and a contact number. Um, all of that using MUI form validation. So we're gonna look into the uh, validation functionality as well. On top of that, we will link it up with the search functionality, which shouldn't be too complicated. Thanks for watching, have a good one.